Chapter 6 of the College Freshman's Don't Book. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The College Freshman's Don't Book by George Fullerton Evans. 6. As to College Organizations and Friends. Trying for Things. Don't hesitate to go out for any teams or papers or musical clubs which you think you'd like to make. The mere trying for things shows you're not a dead one. If you are good enough, you'll find these things mean more than you ever thought they could. If you fail to make them, you'll never regret having tried. As you grow older, you will see that you never could have done certain things you thought you could, and you'll have a first-rate opinion of your former self and your ambition. Sorting out your interests don't be surprised or disappointed if you find you have neither time nor inclination to keep up with everything you thought you would when first coming to college. Your interests naturally need a sorting out. One way not to make the team. Don't think that offering suggestions to an athletic coach is the way to make a team. And don't answer back if the coach speaks harshly to you. Be thankful for any of his attention, even if it be gruff. With some coaches, swearing is more than a liberal art. Many think that the oftener they send their men to hell during practice, the surer they are of sending them to victory in the contest. About social clubs. Don't, for heaven's sake, ask people how one ought to go about getting into social clubs. It isn't considered polite. Just why, I can't tell you. But you'll learn why, some day, if you are the right sort. Acquaintances and Friends. Don't hesitate to accept all chances for making friends, especially among your class. Don't think that you can always control the making of friends. You can't. Friends are heaven-sent. Only the ones you make, and count yourself lucky if you make half a dozen very good friends your first year. There is a difference between acquaintances and friends, by the way, just as there is a difference between fellows to whom you'd casually offer a cigarette and those to whom you'd gladly offer your pocketbook. Useless prejudice. Don't rely too much on prejudice in deciding what certain fellows may or may not be good for. You may or may not be right. Your standard may or may not be the only small stone on the seashore. About visiting. Don't invite everybody you meet to your room. It doesn't pay. But make a point of accepting as many invitations as possible which come from men you like. Visit any upperclassman who takes the trouble to offer you his hospitality. It may help you get on later. That handshake. Don't shake hands like a clam. The flipper shake is not popular and may make you distrusted. You'll need a good handshake all through college. The woman question. The questionable. Don't be one of those who continually pick up anything on the street that wears a bonnet and high heels. There are lots of girls who are willing at any time to be seen with a college man. The varieties differ. Some are genuinely pretty, others wear the deliberate as distinguished from the natural complexion, being perhaps not so well preserved as carefully preserved. Maybe you think it is great fun to take a partner into the small hotel dining room with an I do this every evening kind of air. But you may find out after smoking your brandy and drinking your cigarettes that it isn't pleasant to be played for a good thing. The Unquestionable don't, however, neglect any opportunity to meet ladies of your own station. You are sure to require their society from time to time. The monastic life is not profitable for a man at college. The purr of pretty women and the occasional exchange of amicable nothings will preserve your social soul and keep the little blood-pumping organ in good condition. The Art of Shutting Up Don't hesitate to hear other people's opinions. The world did not begin, nor will it end with you. Where success fails. Don't strut or look patronizing if you happen to have success. It makes people feel sorry for you. The little things. Don't forget the little things. Fellows notice them. Some will even judge you by the way you give or receive a match or cigarette. Summing up the club problem. Don't imagine that your entire success in college will be finally measured by the number of clubs you make during your first year. Always remember that it is the standing of the ones you identify yourself with which counts. 
don't join any final club or society until you feel pretty sure you could not do better. End of chapter 6 as to college organizations and friends.